Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing great in your life. In our previous video, we have discussed about simple present tense. Okay, whosoever is new to my channel, they can go to the playlist of English grammar and they can watch that video. Today, we are going to discuss about present continuous tense, which is also called present progressive tense. Okay, so let us start. Students, continuous or progressive these two words actually show the continuation or progression of any action so present continuous tense is used to express an action at the time of speaking okay what is my action now my action is to give the lecture i am speaking now i am giving a lecture so it is my present action while i am speaking so i can say that i am giving a lecture Okay, same way, to express a temporary action which might not be happening at the time of speaking. You need to understand that. What is a temporary action? A temporary action is an action which we do for a certain amount of time. It is not permanent. For example, to learn singing, to learn swimming, to learn how to play a game or a sport. So these all are things which actually we do for a particular amount of time or for a particular duration. So when we speak about them, we can use present continuous tense. Okay. So present continuous tense is also used to express a temporary action, which might not be happening at the time of speaking. See, if I say, I'm learning piano nowadays. See, at the time when I'm speaking, I'm speaking about my learning of piano. But I am not learning piano right now. But nowadays, I am learning piano. It is a temporary action for me. So if I wish to tell about it to someone, I can use present continuous tense. Okay. Next, present continuous tense is also used to express an action that is expected to take place in the near future. Near future means in some hours, in a day or two. I can say that. I am going to Mumbai tomorrow. Tomorrow is in future. Okay, fine. But it is near future. Okay. So, I can say, I am going to Mumbai tomorrow. My friends are coming to my home this evening. We are going to have a party this evening. See, these all are this evening, tomorrow, in some hours. So, these all are near futures. So, we use present continuous tense to express Something that is happening in near future. Okay. So students, let us now discuss some examples which will clear the concept about present continuous tense. These are the basics of present continuous tense. After discussing some examples, we will learn something more about present continuous tense. Okay. Students, let us now discuss these examples. Okay. The children are playing cricket. That means when the speaker is speaking about this thing, at that moment only the children are playing the cricket that means their action is continuing okay we are watching a movie it is a continuous process okay watching a movie that means movie is being watched she is learning french nowadays in this case learning french is a temporary action so present continuous is used to show the temporary action which is learning french it is a temporary action. No one learns French for lifetime. It is a temporary action. Next example. My brother is arriving tomorrow. Tomorrow is near future. So here we can use the present continuous tense to express the near future. Next example. Rowan is preparing for his exams. Students, preparation of exam is a continuous process. So, we can use the present continuous tense in this case. So, Rohan is preparing for his exams. That means, the process of preparation is continuing. Okay. Students, now we will discuss about the formation of the verbs. The helping verbs those are used in present continuous tense. Okay. Students, we have already discussed about the main verb, the helping verbs and their uses. Whosoever is new to my channel, they can go to the playlist of English grammar and find those videos. Okay. 
What happens in case of continuous tense? Let it be present continuous, past continuous, or future continuous. The verb is always associated with ing. That means we need to use ing as a suffix after the verb. For example, if the verb is go, we need to add ing and make it going in case of continuous tense. Okay. Let it be present continuous, future continuous, or past continuous. The verb is always associated with ing in case of any kind of continuous tense. Let it be perfect continuous as well. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous and future perfect continuous. In case of continuous tense, main verb is always associated with ing. This is to be remembered. Okay. So, if the same thing happens with all type of continuous tense, that means Present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. So how to recognize whether the tense is present continuous tense. So this is the job of the helping verb. With the help of helping verbs, we can come to know that the tense is in present continuous tense. So let us discuss which all helping verbs are used while we are using present continuous tense okay so students we use the helping verbs am is and are in case of present continuous tense am is used with i it is used with all the singular nouns and are is used with plural nouns but there is an exception for this because you is used as second person singular and plural okay so we use are with you that means whether it is singular or plural we need to use are as the helping verb with you okay that means am is used only with i it is used with all the singular nouns okay and are is used with plural nouns exceptional cases you where you is either singular or plural we need to use are so let us now see the whole verb formation that means helping verb and the main verb in total okay students the formation of the main verb in case of present continuous tense is verb plus ing okay before that we need to use helping verb so helping verb plus main verb plus ing it is the total verb formation in case of present continuous tense for example am coming is going are Playing. So in these cases, am, is, are, they are the helping verbs. And coming means this is come plus ing, which forms coming. Go plus ing. Play plus ing. So in these ways, the verbs are formed in case of present continuous tense. So let us now discuss some examples to see how these are used with respect to the different subjects. Okay. Students, here we have some examples. Let us go through them. Okay. I am going to school. Here the subject is I. As you have already discussed that am is used with first person singular. So which is I. I am going to school. Here the helping verb is am. Going means go plus ing. Subject, helping verb. Then the main verb that is with ing. So I am going. Fine. I am going to school. You are coming back from school. Again subject you which is second person. Okay. With second person we have already discussed that we will use are. So subject plus helping verb. Then what should be done with the main verb? Main verb along with ing. So coming. You are coming. Subject, helping verb, coming. 
ब प्लस आई एन जी राम इज लिसनिंग टू द म्यूजिक हियर राम इज थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट वी नीड टू यूज इज विथ सिंगुलर नाउन सो राम इज सिंगुलर सो राम इज लिसनिंग अगेन सब्जेक्ट helping verb main verb plus ing listen plus ing that is listening okay the train is arriving at the platform again train is singular here helping verb that should be used is is the train subject helping verb is is verb plus ing arrive plus ing which gives us arriving the train is arriving at the platform they are leaving for goa okay so they is plural we have already discussed that for plural we need to use the helping verb are so they are leaving for goa subject helping verb are leaving that is leave plus ing so they are leaving for goa hope you understand students now we are going to discuss about the verbs which are not to be used in present continuous tense okay these are verbs of feelings and emotions okay verbs of mental state and activity verbs of sense verbs showing position and verbs like appear contain consist seem okay so we will discuss about these verbs one by one so let us begin now with verbs of feelings and emotions okay students verbs like desire want fear hate dislike respect appreciate they show feelings and emotions so we should not use present continuous tense for these verbs that means i should say i want a cup of tea this is right i should not write i am wanting a cup of tea it is not for some moments only okay this is my continuous feeling i want a cup of tea but i should not write i am wanting a cup of tea rather i should use simple present tense instead of present continuous tense okay same way she is fearing about the taste this is wrong it is a feeling we should write she fears about the taste okay we should not use present continuous tense with fear okay we can have lot many examples but i hope you can understand from these two examples that yes we should not actually use present continuous tense in case of verbs that we use for expressing feelings and emotions i should not write i am disliking you okay i should write i dislike you i should not write i am respecting my teachers i should write i respect my teacher i should use simple present tense okay so whenever we use verbs of feelings and emotions we should not use present continuous tense okay students let us now discuss about some of the verbs of mental state and activity we should not use present continuous tense in case of verbs like agree disagree believe know mean remember suppose trust okay for example i should not write i am agreeing with your decision i should write i agree with your decision okay i should not say i am believing in god no i believe in god i should not say i am knowing the truth no i should say i know the truth i should not say that i am remembering my past i should say that i remember my past i should not say that he is trusting me i should say he trusts me okay so these are some of the examples 
I hope you understand that we should never use the present continuous tense in case of verbs of mental state and activity. Okay? Students, we should not use present continuous tense with verbs of sense. For example, smell, see, hear, taste. For example, I should not write, I am hearing a noise. It's wrong. I should write, I hear a noise. Though it is the present time while I am speaking about it, but this is the verb which shows my sense. So I should not use present continuous tense. Students, now we will discuss about some words or some group of words which actually make us recognize the present continuous tense. Okay, these are now, presently, at this moment, nowadays, this time, okay. When we use these words in a sentence, we use present continuous tense. For example, she is studying now. Presently, I am working on a project. My father is sleeping at this moment. Students, you can clearly see that we have used now in the first sentence, presently in the second sentence and at this moment in the third sentence so we have used the present continuous tense because these all are just like the synonyms of now okay now at this moment presently so we need to use present continuous tense now let us discuss what happens when we use now or days okay students now i'm going to give you two examples that is first he lives in Mumbai nowadays. Number two, he is staying in Mumbai nowadays. See, in the both cases, we have used nowadays but in the first case we have used simple present tense and the second case we have used present continuous tense. The difference is that leaves in Mumbai nowadays that means when we are certain that the duration of the action is more. The duration of action is longer. He lives in Mumbai that means he has been living in Mumbai for some times now. So in that case we need to use simple present tense. But in the second sentence, he is staying in Mumbai nowadays. That means, it is not the permanent movement of his to Mumbai. He might have gone for some work, for some months. So, we can say that he is staying in Mumbai nowadays. Okay? He is going to come back. But he is staying in Mumbai nowadays. Okay? This is the difference between the use of nowadays in case of simple present tense and present continuous tense. Okay? Students, now I am going to provide you some questions. Okay? You need to pause the video and write down the questions and answer them by yourselves. Okay? We will discuss the answers after that. Okay? So, just write down the questions and try to answer the questions. Okay?
so students let us now discuss the answers of the questions okay question number 1 rakesh dash on the phone right now because there is right now in this sentence so it is present continuous we need to form the continuous form of the verb talk the subject is rakesh which is singular so rakesh is talking on the phone right now second question here we have a question mark at the end of the sentence so it is an interrogative sentence so you is the subject in this case so we need to use are as the helping verb so are you sleeping next question suhas dash is home on at the moment at the moment so that this sentence is in present continuous form suhas is singular so we need to use helping verb is so suhas is doing his homework at the moment next question sweta dash on a project nowadays so students as you can see nowadays is there which shows that this sentence should be in present continuous form so sweta is working on a project nowadays my kids dash in the garden now my kids plural play is the main verb and now also that it should be in present continuous form so my kids are playing in the garden now some people dash to talk to you some people plural wait is the verb some people for some people we need to use are so some people are waiting to talk to you his wife dash today not cook so we need to form the negative sentence his wife is singular so his wife is not cooking today dash rohit dash for his exam right now that means it's an interrogative sentence we need to begin the sentence with the helping verb rohit is the subject which is singular so is rohit studying for his exam right now next question dash ran dash the piano now again an interrogative sentence okay so ran is singular so is ran playing the piano now next question arun dash me at present at present shows that we need to form the main verb in its present continuous form so arun is singular so arun is helping me at present my children does not listen to the radio now not listen so that we need to form the negative sentence so my children which is plural my children are not listening to the radio now next i dash the carpet right now right now so that the main verb should be in its present continuous form i is first person singular the helping verb to be used is am so i am cleaning the carpet right now next question what book does you does nowadays so it's an interrogative sentence so we need to use the helping verb before the subject what book are you reading nowadays next sorob does me home now sorob is singular drive is the main verb sorob is driving me home now next question what does she does right now so we need to place the helping verb before the subject what is she eating right now students i hope you have clearly understood the answers of the questions students in this video we have discussed about the present continuous tense how to recognize when to use and some examples as well i hope after watching this video you might have got some idea about the present continuous tense but just remember that this is not the end of it students if you have some doubts then please mail to me on the mail id that is given on your screen whosoever is new to my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video okay you can improve your english but you need to practice more and more so keep revising whatever you are taught keep practicing and most importantly enjoy your life and keep smiling